Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's AFOL, man. I'm bringing a city update for you guys. This is going to be a short video just to kind of catch you guys up to speed with what I've been doing to the city. After I showed my last update, a lot of you guys suggested that maybe I put the train down the middle here. And I even had some people on Instagram suggest that. And the more I thought about it, I thought, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. You know, this is obviously not going to be like a full train. It's just going to be like a subway car that goes down from in front of SIG Tower coming down here to drop people off. I guess this would probably work better if this was a residential area, but uh, they just come over here to go shopping, I guess. And there is a train going by my house right now as I speak, so you might hear that blowing its horn as it goes through my little town here. So this is what I did. I didn't want to put a full 10 inches there just because that would kill the rest of the table as you can see that's all I got left on the back side here I don't even know if I'm gonna still do the beach you know as much in the water I don't know it I wanted to add on here eventually it's just you know I uh, I'm too old to be crawling on the floor and getting over there like I did have the train up here and I even ran it my bridge didn't collapse uh, but I just took that down because just getting underneath there a few times to move stuff just got old. Uh, I did move the bumper cars. I turned the Ferris wheel. You guys let me know what you think of that. It does block those buildings back there. You can see SIG Tower better now. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better. It's not as crowded. And it just looks like a permanent fixture in a city that, you know, people go to check out. And uh, to help with this project, uh, I want to show you what I picked up. I went ahead and got this set, set number 60097, the city square. And I love this set. It's just, it was so overpriced. And I actually picked this up off of eBay for like 148 shipped. So 148 free shipping. And I just got that today. So I'm going to start working on that. And I don't know if I'm going to build it all. I'm definitely going to build, you know, that. That's going to be my subway. I might even motorize it and just get it where it just goes from there to there. That would be probably ideal to have, you know, nine volt track and then you could just set it up on a timer going back and forth, which would be cool. But for, for just when people come over and when I do city updates, I can control two trains. Uh, what I was also thinking about doing is maybe even pulling this over more so it leave a little bit more room and then building a, you know, train station, more of a, a train station, kind of like the, or maybe even getting the, the train station set that just came out and maybe modifying that and putting that there but you guys let me know what you think and another thing I, I don't know if I like it for sure you know having the, the corner some people said they didn't like that some people said they did you know now that I got this half inch I might I don't want to cut it straight I don't mind cutting a four-way all, all day long I'll cut those but I don't know you guys let me know if you think it'd look better just to have it going straight and then just letting the track in right there. Or, or it don't look bad. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Some other people suggested too that maybe I move put the mocks over on that side so you don't see the back because the backs are kind of plain and have more detailing on the back of the you know the official modular. So uh, I did move uh, the detective office over here. Obviously, it probably won't leave the my little newspaper stand there eventually probably put something else there and yeah, I mean this is all subject to change the way all this is but what I'm thinking now is this maybe I don't even know if it'd be beach or just like a he could, I could just have this be like you know an alleyway behind the buildings where they drop off material or whatnot but I don't know I still haven't got the brick bank and I don't know if I'm gonna even keep those little creator sets on the table I can't really think of anywhere to put them. It's, you know, they're just kind of small. I don't know. I could put them over here somewhere. Oh, and another thing is I said, said something about picking up some more 48 by 48 gray base plates for over here. I don't know if I did it in the last one. I did hook it up where the train track would go all the way around and make a circle. So basically, it will come over here, go that way, or you can turn it down here. It can go do a circle, come back. And I did cut and modify this to get the work because as we all know they like to come out and then over I just cut it to get the fit so it would just be a nice curve uh, but so what I was gonna say is 
Uh, I just ordered through my lug, which will probably take months to get, a bunch of these 32 by 32 reddish brown base plates. Uh, I think I ordered like 15 of them. So what I'm thinking is probably from like here over will all be those uh, 32 by 32 reddish brown. So it'll look like dirt base plates all through there. I think that's going to look good. And then figure out what I want to do with those gray base plates after that. Well, you guys let me know what you think of uh, the changes. I know some of you guys didn't like the palm trees. And obviously I just set those there for just the video. And I, I kind of built like a little base for them. I don't know if I'll even put them on there or not. What I could do is maybe put them on both sides. If I had more, let me grab a couple and just set them out there. See what they look like. Could do something. Sorry about the shaky camera. We'll just kind of look at this together here. Kind of get an idea of something. I don't know. I, you know, I'm going to have other, you know, little facilities, the coffee shop, other little things through there too. So, I don't know. It's all a learning experience. I do like the trees. And I, I like having the train going up there. Let's look at this set. What else we have in here? We got that little thing here. We probably put the coffee shop out there. I'll probably build a full size Lego store. Maybe use that as the front and just, you know, turn it into a full modular is kind of what I was thinking. But you guys let me know what you think. I appreciate your all's feedback. I appreciate the uh, suggestion of doing this. I think it looks good. Uh, I think overall I'm very happy with the changes. It just feels like I have access to the whole table now. Where before I always had like this dead area back here. Uh, now it just looks sharp. But you guys let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the Ferris wheel there. I think overall it looks pretty good. I can't wait to uh, see what it looks like with the train running. And then also I got that four way that I built on there. So I will have room for some train crashes too. <laughs> Alright guys. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.